Scientists have found something truly amazing on a new trip deep below the surface of the Earth. As they got closer to the mysterious center of our planet, which is mostly uncharted by people, they found secrets that made it hard to understand how Earth works. Is it a secret underground world full of unknown life forms or a cache of long-lost geological secrets that could change what we know about Earth's history? Join us as we go on an exciting adventure to find out more about this amazing discovery and the intriguing questions it raises about the heart of our world. In the late 1950s, teams of American and Soviet scientists began racing to dig as deep as possible into the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust can stretch as far as 30 miles toward the center of our planet, where it gives way to the mysterious mantle, which makes up 40% of our planet's mass. The U.S. seemed to be falling behind the Soviets in the space race, but the creation of NASA in 1958 changed that. The U.S. took the lead in the digging race with Project Mole, but eight years after it began, funding was cut and it was stopped. The Soviets were up next, drilling into the ground below the Pakensky district on May 24, 1970, with the goal of getting as deep as possible into the Earth's crust. They wanted to go about 50,000 feet below the top of the Earth using special tools, starting with the Kola Super Deep Borehole, which was only nine inches across. In 1974, American prospectors made progress while the rig slowly moved down into the Earth. In Washita County, Oklahoma, oil company Lone Star made the Bertha Rogers Hole, a man-made wonder that went more than 31,400 feet, or almost six miles, below the Earth's surface. It took about 18 months to reach the end point, but the hole it dug was the deepest on Earth for five years until one of the cola boreholes, called SG-3, broke the record on June 6, 1979. In 1983, a team of scientists drilled a hole into the Earth's core to explore its core. The goal was to reach 44,000 feet, but the drilling process was stopped due to technical problems and changes in the hole's walls. The team then resumed drilling from 23,000 feet and reached a record 40,230 feet deep in 1989. However, as the drilling progressed, the temperature inside the hole rose significantly, making it difficult for the team to drill. A German drilling team called the German Continental Deep Drilling Program discovered that the Earth's core is not as it was predicted, with only granite found at the farthest reaches of the Kola Super Deep Borehole. This discovery led to the adoption of a new theory that water naturally evaporates at high temperatures, rather than being a shift to basalt. The most surprising discovery was the discovery of flowing water several miles beneath the Earth's surface which was thought to be caused by strong pressure forcing oxygen and hydrogen atoms out of the rock. The new water was trapped below the surface by rocks that didn't allow it to pass through. Other unexpected finds included microscopic plankton fossils, discovered 3.5 miles down, and a large amount of hydrogen gas. The closure of the Kola Superdeep borehole coincided with the fall of the Soviet Union, and the project was permanently shut down in 1995. Today, the site is flagged as an environmental hazard. Visitors can still see remnants of the experiment in the nearby town of Zapoliani. Despite the success of the Kola Superdeep Borehole, researchers have yet to beat its record. China is now planning to drill a hole with an expected depth of 11,100 meters, almost as deep as Kola's total, but they believe they can finish it in 457 days. Carlsbad Caverns National Park a 70-square-mile cave system in the United States is home to over 80 caves and was discovered 250 million years ago by marine predators. The caves were popularized by photographer Ray David in 1923, leading to their declaration as a national monument. However, the park became a tourist attraction, with millions of bats visiting the cave every summer. In 2002, Writer Michael Taylor wanted to explore the caves for a PBS show, and Nova Michael and a group of spellinkers used Michael's account to go into the cave on their own. They experienced extreme conditions, including heavy humidity, sweating, blood, 
and 30 pieces of white aragonite stuck to their hands. Max Wissick and his team were inspired by these stories and decided to explore the caves. The team couldn't reach their goal due to the mysterious lake of liquid sky, which had been known since 1993. Since 1993, people have known about the secret pool, but the 2019 team was not allowed to touch it. They wore safety suits and digitally mapped the cave passages using disc stocks and old-fashioned pen and paper. On the other side of the Lake of Liquid Sky, rare minerals were hidden, such as yellow and blueberry crystals that inspired the new area of Barite Boulevard. In June 2020, the team discovered a pool with a strange-looking liquid that looked like thick lime yogurt, ordered by white, frosted rocks. This discovery was significant for science, as water samples from untouched pools are usually free of contaminants and only belong to the microorganisms present in the environment. Caves are becoming increasingly interesting and mysterious, with various discoveries being made. In 2016, a voodoo doll-like sculpture was discovered in the Catskill Mountains, while the reed flute cave in China was made by a river about 500,000 years ago. The cave's unique rock formations reflect blue and purple light, and it was used as an air raid shelter during World War II. In Romania, 400 huge footprints were found in the big cave in the 1960s. More recently, scientists have discovered bacteria living off iron and magnesium in cave structures, suggesting that life may thrive in harsher conditions than previously thought. Dark blue circles in caves trap light and send it back into the sea, and the Gaeta Grotto in Lebanon has the largest astalactite at 27 feet. Cave creatures have unique characteristics due to their living in total darkness. For example, many fish are fully blind, but their central nervous systems allow them to feel even the smallest changes in water pressure. In Indonesia, a new species of tiny people, Homo floresiensis, lived in a cave with manuscripts written on papyrus and animal skin from the 4th century BC. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.